The World Bank estimates that the digital economy accounts for more than 50% of the global GDP and has grown over 2.5 times as fast over the past decades. ICT is expected to play a pivotal role in this extraordinary growth trajectory, contributing more than 50% to the digital economy. Digitalization, and particularly the deployment of the super-fast 5G networks in commercial operations is revolutionizing the world outlook. 5G has made possible for networks and technology companies like Huawei to revolutionize industrial production and the delivery of goods through the use of high-speed internet and artificial intelligence. As if this is not exciting enough, in recent Mobile World Congress, which was held in Shanghai in China, Huawei piloted the next generation 5.5G network capable of speeds that are 10 times faster than 5G with uploads of around 10 gigabytes per second. This will expand accessibility to generative IE technologies and accelerate production of driverless and, el and electric vehicles capable of reducing road accident by as much as 80%, among others. While the world is exploring the post-5G ICT environment, Africa, and particularly the developing world, is still grappling with the challenges of bridging the digital divide. We are acutely aware of the reality that our continent is lagging far behind. We live in a continent that is struggling to roll out slower 4G network that is currently at 30% penetration. We struggle to increase digital literacy and thus bridge the gaping digital divide. We continue to struggle to increase the uptake of affordable smart devices. It is for these reasons that uh, as a department and as government, working with ICT sector players, we have made the rollout of ICT infrastructure and bringing down the cost to communicate as part of our top priorities. We are committed to bridging the digital divide and making sure that we have got a digital inclusive society. Our approach to digital inclusion and the creation of a digital society is driven by a belief that the telecommunications companies have a critical role to play in boosting coverage, particularly in underserved areas by also accelerating the deployment of 5G networks outside of the urban areas to better address the unserviced communities across the country with the aim of spreading the adoption of digital services. Ladies and gentlemen, we are acutely aware that in order for government to digitally transform our society and ensure an inclusive digital economy, the following fundamental prerequisites has to be addressed. The first one, there must be affordable, reliable, and secure connectivity. Through our broadband policy intervention, which we call the SA Connect, we seek to expand connectivity by rolling out digital infrastructure across the country to ensure that 80% of South Africans have a secure and reliable and affordable high-speed internet access in the next three years. The second prerequisite is affordable broadband services and digital devices. We know that due to our dire economic situation and the ever-increasing cost of living expenses, the indigenous resources are focused on the essentials required to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. And therefore, access to affordable and quality broadband services and smart digital devices is important in assisting citizens' access to citizens to access government services. The third prerequisite is the skills and capacity development. And lastly, the SMMEs, support. The SMMEs play a very significant role in areas of innovation, economic growth, and employment. Most importantly, they are easily accessible to citizens 
because they are spread out in townships and rural areas. In our partnerships with the industry, we would like to see accelerated support to the SMMEs from creating special targeted packages for them in terms of accessing digital technologies like cloud services at special rates, providing venture finance for SMMEs, leveraging digital platforms of multinational companies to offer their skills as well as digital products and services as well as being given the opportunities to be part of the global value chain of multinationals. You are just coming here to declare one thing and one thing only. We want Gauteng to be the digital economy of our country. We want to lay the foundation, the resources and everything that is needed for us to ensure that we migrate this beautiful province of ours from the mining industry that established this province to the new economic power that we'll call the digital power. This digital power must create jobs. This digital power must create opportunities. This digital power must not leave anyone behind. It must be capable and ready to bring everyone on board so that we can be together. So we are coming here to declare that. And we are proud that we've got a powerful institution called Huawei that is carrying us, that is working with us, and that is giving the guidance and the support that we need. I've just returned from a powerful 10 working days in China, and I can confirm good people. I've seen a new Jerusalem. The sooner we move to catch up with them, the better. And in doing so, it's less talk and more work. It is indeed a great honor for the Gauteng Provincial Government to be given an opportunity to be part of this auspicious event. Your theme, which is the leading uh, digital for new value together, resonates with the work we are doing in Gauteng as we work towards the dig digitization of the province. Just like any other institution, digital transformation has a huge impact on how we deliver services to our communities. The Gauteng Provincial Government took on the wave of the digital transformation eight years ago as we realized that the Ford Industrial Revolution was upon us. We had realized that these changes were not only affecting privately owned institutions, but were at the doorstep of government. Our business community was adopting faster than our government, rather adapting faster than our government institutions, embracing the change brought about by technology. This presented a number of opportunities for us with the growing internet penetration in our country and our province, where about 78% of our people access it through mobile devices. This obliged government to convert most of our, of our service offerings to mobile devices so as to enable our communities to access our services in a more friendly and convenient way. Gauteng province has a leading economic technological uh, and talent reserves in South Africa. It has unique regional advantages facing digital opportunities in South Africa and being firmly at the forefront of digital transformation will help us build an important position in digitizing Gauteng. This is amongst the reasons we created the GGT 2030 to create a seamlessly integrated, socially cohesive, sustainable and economically inclusive Gauteng city region. A place of opportunities supported by a growing economy, smart, innovative driven and sustainable industries, an accountable, responsive, transparent, and clean government. The GGT 2030 supports the modernization of government operations and service delivery through information and communication technology. It aims to build a sustainable, leading, and better housing. As a result, we are to create the housing department of e-government research and development, one of its first kind in the country, which is supported by the Gauteng City Region 
fourth industrial revolution advisory panel in delivering on the digitization project. The panel has created the Gauteng 4IR growth and digitization strategy to guide us to achieve our goals. The strategy focuses on the following areas, digital and infrastructure technologies, growth and strategy, 4IR research, development and innovation, 4IR skills development and governance.